Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Five of Cups. Okay, so for some of you guys, you may be currently experiencing feeling the loss um, for some of you guys, this could be a mourning phase. Um, it could be dealing with an anniversary or of someone's passing. Um, now, the obstacle here is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so Gemini's, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with um, perhaps there was a conclusion or some type of ending. For some, it could be like physical dealing with the mourning, the loss of a family member, a relative, or even a loved one. Um, for others of you, it could just represent feeling a bit on a depressive state of mind or feeling like there's not much hope in a situation that involves partnerships or even the family dynamic. Now, the Knight of Wands does symbolize here when it comes to what's currently an obstacle or what, what obstacle you need to currently overcome, what they're saying is you got to be patient and you have to have faith, Gemini. Uh, this could represent, for some of you guys, it could be like um, dealing with, like I said, a family dynamic issue, something that has to do with um, feeling like you've lost hope or like you're not as optimistic as perhaps you were in the past. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, though, I feel that what they're trying to say here is be patient, Gemini. Everything comes in due time. Don't give up. For those of you guys that there were there was a separation or some type of ending and you've been, as an example, you've been single for quite a while. Perhaps some of you guys may feel like the best has passed you by or like the person that you that really made you happy, perhaps um you're never going to get that again. It's it's a feeling of the, I, you know, whatever good there was or hope, uh, it perhaps passed me by. And what they're saying is, no, you got to learn to have faith. You got to understand that sometimes we need these challenges. We need to go through certain type of phases in our life that are going to help us to heal perhaps things that we haven't he uh, healed before or that we didn't want to address. Um, now the past and passing is a hanged man. So yeah, I feel, I feel you guys very restrictive in regards to romance. So for some of you guys, it could be that you've been single for quite a while and you're kind of hopeless at this point when it comes to relationships for others of you. It could be that you're still trying to fix a relationship. Um, but it's almost like for those of you guys that are in a relationship, it could be like being in a relationship, but you still feel alone. So again, there's some stuckness, some not being able to move forward or not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel type of energy. Uh, you have here the Queen of Wands. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius or Libra type of energy. And what they're saying here is you need to have faith, Gemini. You need to have trust, not only in yourself, but higher spirit. And understand that if you're not getting what you're wanting or... Uh, where you're at right now, it seems like things don't progress in a positive way. What they're telling you is you need to believe more in yourself. You need to work whatever issues you need to work through. Um, but at the same time, know your worth, Gemini. Do not settle for being mistreated. As an example, if you've done things in the past and the partner that you're with is trying to perhaps even trying to still go through the healing phase. But they constantly bring up certain things that perhaps in the past you did and you're no longer there and you're really trying to fix the relationship. Do not allow other people to belittle you based off of the past. You know, a person can change in a three month spam. Uh, it's all about them wanting to change for the better. And if this is what you're going through, again, like I said, don't settle. Don't allow your partner to belittle you or make you feel less than because in the past you screwed up. Everyone does, you know, and if the partner was willing to forgive you or willing to continue trying the relationship, 
then they need to let go of that past as well. And this could be vice versa as it is a general reading. Now, what's crowning you is the strength card. So again, having or finding the strength, the trust, and the belief in yourself, knowing your worth, as well as having faith. Um, if you guys are currently going through a situation where there is some type of uh, family issue that as a family, as a whole, you're trying to get through, what they're saying is have faith and understand um, not to be pessimistic about it or not to be thinking the worst. Uh, spirit is trying to guide you. You just need to let go, have faith, and surrender. Now, your next card here is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel that for some of you guys, the family dynamic issue that they're telling me could represent like someone's health or dealing with someone that is currently going through health issues. Um, again, like I said, with the Strength card, have faith and understand that, you know, higher spirit will... Uh, give or open that opportunity for you, whatever it is that you're currently wanting to make happen. It's almost like I feel that you guys like very restrictive, like wanting to do something about a situation, but not knowing what to do. And it's very frustrating. And what they're telling you is you got to let go of having to be in control all the time, Gemini. Uh, so sometimes we kind of get in our own way. And what they're telling you is take a step back, have faith and things will unfold the way they're supposed to. Now, the five of pentacles here, um, again, it, 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 it's talking to me about a physical aspect. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with perhaps a family member, someone that's currently going through health issues um, where you kind of lost hope or you feel like there's no hope left. Um, now, the energies currently influencing or around you is the king of pentacles. So you have two royal cards here. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with um, earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or an, a fire energy. But as the as the advice card, what they're saying is whatever you feel at this point, Gemini, that there is no hope or that there is no progress or whatever it is that you're kind of losing hope about, what they're saying here with the King of Pentacles is you will be grounded. You will be... Uh, getting yourself out of this situation or uh, if you are dealing with a relative, uh, maybe even a spouse that's currently ill or something like that, what they're saying is you will get through this and you will find the strength to believe in yourself and to get out of your own way, basically, to trust the universe, basically, is what they're saying. Uh, fruitful, uh, the king of pentacles is all about uh, grounding, it's all about abundance or being surrounded by abundance so again if there is some health issues here um they will they will go from dealing with it or being weakened to being strength uh strengthened uh being healed or major recuperation on its way now you also do have the full card here again it's a new beginning it's a new energy and the judgment card okay so i'm getting different messages for some of you guys you guys are dealing with health issues in regards to a relative or someone within the family dynamic. I do see that there's going to be um, like relying on your partner or like really needing that emotional support. If this is your partner that's dealing with this, try the best you can to be an emotional support uh, to, you know, raise their spirits, to be positive around them, that type of energy. If you are, in fact, dealing with, like, as an example, a child or one of your partner's children that's currently going through some type of health issues, um, things will get better. And there is some type of recuperation or bouncing back from that situation with greater strength. So, again, having faith and believing. Um, now, for those of you guys that are dealing with a partner that you're no longer with, and there is a feeling of like you've completely lost faith or hope in the situation. What they're saying is if you've been putting a lot of effort in this relationship and they're no longer putting that effort or have no care in the world, uh, you, you got to start working on yourself, Gemini. You got to start taking care of yourself. You got to start um, really finding yourself back because it's almost like you've lost your way. Uh, with the full card and the judgment, the moment you start to move on or the moment you start to be more empowered 
or grow stronger or even start dating other people, you have the judgment card. So they come right back around. So for those of you guys that are dealing with this situation, again, don't lose hope. Um, but they are telling you at this point in time, it's important for you to put yourself first and to start working on bettering yourself. Should they come back around when you're ready to move on or when you're starting to move on, then the decision ultimately lies on you. Um, word of advice is what they're telling you here is um, should, should they come back around or should they want to work something out with you? Ultimately, the decision or the ball will be on your court, Gemini. Um, but at the same time, you got to let them or allow them to prove themselves to you. Okay. Uh, so know your worth, Gemini. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.